Hello my dear students in today's session we have come up with a very very important name reaction and its mechanism which is very important for board examination remember this question has came very frequent in the last 15 years so you may never know in this year it is going to be your question in the exam so let's see we have williamson synthesis we know in williamson synthesis we form ethers how do we form we take the alkoxide sodium alkoxide along with alkyl halide in the presence of diether to form ether so remember this reaction mechanism we will discuss now mechanism of the reaction i am going to explain because in the exam they directly ask the mechanism of williamson synthesis so in the mechanism it is sn2 reaction first of all nucleophilic substitution by molecular now remember first thing what will happen in the presence of diether our alkoxide sodium alkoxide O minus Na plus. So, what will happen here? We will remove the cation. So, Na plus will be removed and it generates a very strong nucleophile, which is a alkoxide ion. Okay, we will be getting a alkoxide ion and it is a very strong nucleophile. We know in SN2 reaction, we take strong nucleophile. It is, it will be a strong nucleophile. Now, this strong nucleophile will attack on the alkyl halide and remember SN2 reaction attack can be possible only from the inversion side it is a single step reaction okay so first of all we will take the alkyl halide and remember in SN2 reaction the rate of reaction is inversely proportional to the steric hindrance steric hindrance means bulkiness if there is more bulkiness the rate of reaction will be slow so the condition for the this reaction is the alkyl halide must be one degree because there should be minimum steric hindrance it is important now what will happen in now in this case we will be seeing that the halogen will take up the electron being more electronegative there will be a cleavage of the bond under the influence of this alkoxide ion okay alkoxide ion is going to be our nucleophile so when the bond will break at the same time this bond will be joining because we can see there will be a partial positive charge will come up so it will go through a transition state so how do we show the transition state so in our transition state you will see at a time the nucleophile is attacking and at the same time if you see the old nucleophile the halogen is leaving so this is your transition state remember the attack is only possible from rear side and you will get only inversion because it is sn2 and now so finally what do we get finally the halogen will be removed okay the halogen is removed and we will see we are getting r o r okay so we will be getting the ether and that is very simple that was the mechanism of williamson synthesis so keep following chakravi science academy and don't forget to share with your friends who may need it bye bye for now